So uh, we're faced with this problem here. Um, let probability of z equal 0 0.40, the probability y equals 0.39, the probability of the intersection of z and y to equal 0.18. They want us to use the Venn diagram, it would be greatly helpful, to determine the probabilities of these things. z complement intersect y complement, z complement union y complement, z complement union y, and z intersect y complement. So we're going to build the Zen, the, excuse me, the Zen diagrams. We're going to be Zen-like and build the Venn diagrams uh, so that we can answer this question. So first, let's turn our attention to the general or overall Venn diagram. I didn't want to use that screaming green there. Uh, let's go there and there. And so that's Y and that's Z. And they tell us that this inner portion, the intersection between the two is 0.18. Z is 0 0.40, so I have to subtract 0.18 from 0 0.40, and that gives me 0.22. And then Y is 0.39, so that's 0.21. The reason why is now, since the total of point, uh, the total of Y is 0.39, that means everything inside of Y has to add up to 0.39. That would be 0.21 plus 0.18, which is 0.39. Same goes for z. Those two have to add up to 0 0.40. Uh, so we do need to determine this as well. The universe has some probability as well. The probability that it's not y or z is what's left. So when I add these three together, I'm going to get some value, subtract that from the number 1. Or if you think of these as 21, 18, 22, take those the sum of those numbers is distracting from 100, and I'll get another decimal value. So 21 and 22 is 43, 53, 61. So 0 0.61 leaves me with 0.39 for the universe. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 89, 90, 100. Okay, so 39% probability for the universe. 22 for only Z, 21% for only Y, and 18% for both Y and Z. So let's shrink this down and start working on these other things. So let's look at this, the Venn diagram to my left, but let's adapt it to be um, Z, Z complement. So Z complement is everything not in Z. So everything not in Z looks like this. So I'm shading everything not in Z. Oops, a little bit overlap, sorry. Then let's look at Y complement. I want to make that a little bigger. I didn't like that Z one. So Y complement, oops, well, it doesn't matter. Y complement looks like this, everything not Y. Why? Because we like you. Yep, and I'm a weirdo. And so that's Y complement. And so we're going to take a look at the very first question that they ask us, which is the intersection of Z complement y complement and what's the probability of that so first let's look at the picture um, z complement y complement the intersection of those two so we're really talking about what portions are in both this shaded region and this shaded region well this part is not and this part is not so that leads me to believe that the intersection of that stuff is just the universe. So that's the intersection. Now, what's the probability of that intersection? It is 0.39. So we're going to go over here, type in 0.39, and we get a fantastic, and so we get to move on. So now they're asking us for the union of 
that stuff on the on the right hand side of my iPad screen. They're asking for the the union of all that. So if I take all that stuff up here and join it with the stuff down here, don't I get everything that's yellow shaded and everything that's yellow shaded over here, which basically excludes this inner thing that I keep calling a football because it's not an ellipse, but it is close to. So I get everything but this inner portion. If you want to call it a Sor the Eye of Sauron, that's fine too for you geeky types like myself. So the probability of Z complement union Y complement is equal to the probability of all that stuff. Well, you can add up 0 0.22, 0 0.21, and 0.39, but I think it's easier to, th to think of it as the whole thing is 100%, so subtract, take one, take one and subtract the 0.18, and we get 0.82. And so we type in 0.82, check our answer, we get a well done. Hopefully our turkey today is well done. By the way, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And so let's do part three. And let's get rid of some of this red stuff that I have lying around. And all of this. Okay, so let's go and take care of, what are we looking for? Z complement union Y. So the probability of Z complement union Y. And so we look at Z complement over here. That's all this stuff. <clears throat> and complement, I'm sorry, I keep saying complement, union it with all the Y stuff. So all of Y is this. And we're actually doing the union of that. So what our, our uh, graph will end up being everything in the universe and everything in Y And this portion that's only Z is what is not part of the probability or not part of our part of our Venn diagram. So uh, we get 100, or excuse me, 1 minus 0.22. And so 1 minus 0.22 is 0.78. So that's what our answer should be for this one, 0.78. And so let's type in 0.78. And we get a fantastic and last and certainly not least let's go do this last one here uh, sorry this is taking longer it just takes a while to draw this stuff in a race etc but I think this might be the best way to visualize what's going on so uh, the last one is the probability of the Z intersect complement Y. And so Z intersect complement Y. So complement Y is this guy over here. Z is actually this stuff over here. And so when I do the intersection, the intersection means those elements that exist in both. So I get this, I think, how do I want to, what do I call that? I want to call it a crescent. So I get this crescent over here because the, the eye of Sauron or the ellipse or the football or whatever it is, that's only in Z and the universe is only in the universe. But all of this stuff was both in the complement of Y and in Z. And that's what I mean when I say intersect and. So it's going to be just this stuff. So it turns out I don't have to do any arithmetic this time. The probability of that is 0.22. So let's type in 0.22. And we get an excellent. And so we're done with that problem. And so we're going to go to the next question. And they give us kind of the same thing here. The probability of Z, 0.48. Probability of Y is 0.40. The probability of Z union Y is 0.69. So 
Z union Y, it just gives us the information in a different manner. So let's shoot up. I'm going to not do this problem out because this is taking longer than I would really want to have you sit and watch the video. But let's set up the Venn diagram at least. So they don't give us the intersection, so they don't give us this inner portion. What they did do was they gave us the union. So they gave us all of this. And uh, so we're going to... draw this and if the union of that is 0.69 that means the universe is 1 minus 0.69 which is 0.31 so this is 0.31 they tell us that Z again we'll label this Z and we'll label this Y they tell us that Z is is 0.48 so all of this is 0.48 and they tell us that all of y is 0 0.40. So we're going to use the addition rule. And hopefully you see this relationship, I'm not sure. The probability of the union of y and z is equal to the probability of y plus the probability of z minus the probability of the intersection of y and z. And we're going to use the addition rule to figure out how to fill our table in, or excuse me, our Venn diagram in, the probabilities in there. So the probability of the union is 0.69. That's what they've given us. So they gave us that this is 0.69. They give us the probability of y as 0 0.40, and they give us the probability of z as 0.48. But they have not given us the probability of the intersection, which is what we need, or I believe is what's if given that is makes filling out the Venn diagram easier. So I want to solve for this variable, this missing value. So I'm going to subtract 0.4 from both sides and subtract 0.48 from both sides. And so I get 0.69 minus 0.40 minus 0.48 is equal to negative probability of y intersect z. I know that negative thing's probably bothersome to some. 0.69 minus 0 0.40 is 0.29 minus 0.48 equals negative probability of y intersect z. Doing that math, I get 0.19 negative equals negative probability y intersect z. And so I know that the probability of y intersect z is equal to 0.19. So let's go back and fill out that table. Excuse me fill out the Venn diagram, we'll go up here, or we'll go down here. So this is 0.19. We know that this was 0.39, I believe. I'm sorry, that was from the other problem, 0.31. I believe this was 0.31 for the universe. Not that that interacts with that. And we had y, the probability of y was equal to 0 0.40. So 0 0.40 minus 0 0.19 is 0 0.21. And the probability of z is equal to 0 0.48. was 0.48. And so that being 0.48 makes this z only portion would make this point two nine two three forty eight. Yep. And so though that should add to one hundred three four five six seven eight nine ten. And so we get a total of one. So that's how you'd fill out the uh, or fill out the Venn diagram and then using the similar same find the intersections, the unions of the, the intersection of the complements, the unions of the complements. All that stuff is pretty much exactly the same. Filling out the Venn diagram was what was different. Hopefully that was helpful. Take care.